Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. In today's class, we'll look at some operators. What is an operator? Operators are simply items that help us to operate on constants and variables. So now that we understand what a variable is and what a constant is, let's look at how we can operate using operators. First, we will create a project and call it my operators. We'll start creating this project by clicking on new project. Then we would click on console application, click on go. We'll select our C++. All of this we have done in our previous classes. So if you don't know how to create a project, please refer to our previous videos. So we we'll call it my operators and then let's move so now we have a fresh project to start with let us do this before we can start using our operators let's create two variables two integer variables called first number and then second number so we'll call int first number and then second number after creating these two variables let us talk about the first operator so the first operator we'll talk about is what we call the assignment operator All right the assignment operator is simply what we know as the equal sign so in programming whenever you use the equal sign it means that you want to assign a value to a variable this is what this is how it usually works. So if I write, for instance, first number is equal to let's say 15. What I am actually saying is that assign the value 15 to the variable first number. So always the variable on the left hand side of the equal sign is the one which is receiving, and the one whether a variable or a value whether a variable or a value that is on the right hand side is a one being given so when we say first number is equal to 15 what we actually mean is that assign the value 15 to the variable first number so this is how you use the assignment operator and we can verify this by outputting the number that we just assigned to first number so let's see out what is inside first number to see if it's actually 15. so just like we can see here we can see that the number 15 has been printed to the screen in the same vein also we could assign one variable to another so for instance we already have 15 in the variable first number so we could say second number is equal to first number and what this means is that put whatever value is inside first number into the variable second number second number sorry again we can output this to see if we truly have 15 being put into second number so let's do let's print it and then confirm so we would run this and again you could see that we have the first 15 that we are printing from the first number and then the second 15 that we are also printing from the second number so this confirms that once you use the equal sign you are able to assign a value to a variable the next thing we will talk about is what we call arithmetic operators. What is an arithmetic operator? These are operators that help us perform basic arithmetic. They are, we have all been exposed to them in one way or the other. So for instance, operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and then modulo. 
how can we perform such operations in C++? Let us look at our first arithmetic operator. The first arithmetic operator we are going to look at is the addition operator. So how do we perform addition in C++? Currently, we have two numbers, right? So we would ask our user to provide an input for the two numbers. Let me bring that outside so that this, the input the user will provide can be used for multiple operators. So we'll prompt the user. Please enter. We'll go ahead and prompt the user to enter a second number. So after end prompting the user to enter a second number, we'll go ahead and receive the second number. So now that we have these two numbers, let's perform a simple addition operation. So we have <coughs> first number, sorry, plus the second number. So you can see that this is not too different from what we do in our normal uh, mathematics, what, how we do. So in mathematics, if we want to add two numbers, we just put the addition operator in between the two numbers. This is what happens when it comes to the in C++ also. But then after the addition operation is done, a new value is generated and we need a container to store that new value. So let's create a new container or declare a variable. We'll call it answer. And so we will say answer is equal to first number plus second number. So from what we saw earlier, this is the same as saying that add the first number to the second number and the new value that is generated, assign it to the variable answer. We can go ahead and then run this to see. And so this was, this run, uh, all right, let's just build and then run. And then we'll see. So now that we've been able to add first and second number and assign it to answer, let us output uh, what is inside answer. So this line of code will tell your system to display answer. So we'll first display the sentence, the answer for addition is, and then what is inside the variable answer. And so let's run and see what we get. So we see that. This was the first 15 that we assigned to first number, second 15 that we assigned to second number. And then now the prompt comes, please enter the first number. So we enter our first number as 20. And then it asks, please enter second number. We enter our second number as 30. And then it says, the answer for the addition is 50. So this means that we have successfully performed the addition operation in C++. Okay, so now that we have successfully performed an addition operation, we can use the same or similar method in performing all other arithmetic operations. So I'll just copy everything that we did in addition and then paste. And then I'll say this is subtraction. And then instead of the plus symbol here, I'll use the minus. So what this means is that for you to perform a subtraction operation, it is first number minus second number, and then whatever the new value is, you're going to put that into answer. And so you say the result for subtraction is answer. And so we can use a similar method for multiplication this is a symbol for multiplication the star is a symbol for multiplication and then if you want to do division you use the slash for division 
so this is division and then this is multiplication all right <clears throat> so all of this would follow a similar uh, trajectory right but again if you want to perform a modulo operation then what you do is the symbol for modulo is the percentage sign when you are dividing a number by another number you most likely would get uh, a number the result would have uh, a decimal behind it right and so we need to take care of that so with this we have safely been able to perform all arithmetic operation we're able to do the addition subtraction multiplication division and then the modulo so this is how we use the arithmetic operators in c plus plus the next thing we are going to look at is what we call the compound assignment when we talk about compound assignment these is equivalent to having some operators and then an operand or two operands and then uh, two operators combined what this does is that it allows you to write an operation in a shortcut form so for instance if I have first number and second number and I want to perform addition operation on them then I can simply write uh, first number plus equals second number the interpretation of this is that take the first operand take the arithmetic operation that follows so in this case first number plus second number and then whatever the new value is assign that new value to the first operand which is what first number so in simple terms take first number add it to second number and whatever answer you get put it back into first number and so once we output what is in first number we'll see that let's say, let's do a c out compound assignment is so the compound assignment is and then let's now output what is in first number and we'll see that the value that we entered into first number would have changed so let's build and run this and see what we get sorry so when we build and run this this is what we get the first number take note of the numbers that we are entering so first number we entered 10 sorry we are entering 10 for first let's enter 10 for first number let's press and then let's enter let's say 3 for second number and then let's enter and then you see that compound assignment is 13 here you see that compound assignment is 13 which means that it took whatever we entered into the first number added it to the second number and now the new value is assigned to the first number let's go back and then see look at the code again so we said first number plus equals second number which means that we took whatever we had we had entered for first number which was 10 we added whatever we had entered for second number which was 3 making 13 and so the 13 which is the new value is assigned to first number and so that is how a compound assignment works and you can do similar for uh, 
uh, minus equal sign multiplication equal sign all of this follows the same trend so when i do first number minus equals second number it means take whatever is in first number subtract whatever is in second number and then assign the new value to the first operand which is first number i hope it's very clear the next type of operator i want us to talk about is the increment and then the decrement operator so well, you usually find plus plus or minus minus before or after the name of a variable what does this mean whenever you see plus plus before or after uh, a variable it means that take whatever value is inside that variable and increase it by one if it is plus plus or reduce it by one if it is minus minus and so we can say that first number plus plus meaning that you should increase what is in first number by one or we can say first number minus minus which means that reduce what is inside first number by one okay so after being able to display this let's see how it looks like on our terminal so it's asking for first number let's enter 10 and then asking for second number let's enter three so you see that the compound assignment is 13 and then we have the decrement operator reducing it to 12. so this is how to use the increment and the decrement operator this brings us to the end of our first part of operators remember to subscribe thank you